So graduated pipettes will be used. Notice that they uh, need to have the pipette pump on tightly and we'll put the graduated pipette into the stock solution and draw up the appropriate amount which would be seven milliliters to make the first solution. So we'll draw up to the three and then push all of the solution into the test tube which will release seven milliliters into the test tube. That will then be repeated for solution three which will be five milliliters of stock solution poured into the test tube and repeat it again for solution four which will be three milliliters of stock solution drawing up to the seven releasing all of the solution including the last milliliter in the tip of the graduated pipette and the fifth solution will be one milliliter of stock and poured in. Then changing pipettes and water will be drawn and the appropriate amount of water. So in solution two, we'll draw up three milliliters of water to add to the seven milliliters of stock solution and continue along in the second one. Five milliliters of water that was added will be added to the five mils of stock solution, each time ending up with a total of 10 milliliters of solution. And next, solution A4, we need seven milliliters of water, so it's drawn up to the three, making a total of 10 mils of solution. And the last one, nine milliliters drawn all the way up to the one, which will end up being nine mils of water, added to this one milliliter of stock solution. That will be repeated for the second stock solution, 0.075. And you can see in fast speed the stock and then the water to again make the four dilutions. Covers will be added so that the solutions can be properly mixed, inverting each one of the solutions so that they will again be effectively mixed. And then each solution will be poured into the cuvette so that we'll end up with a complete set of uh, eight dilutions and the two stock for a total of ten solutions.